Hey y'all, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are new here or you've stumped upon my page, I hope that you'll check me out and then consider hitting that subscribe button. While you're at it, you might as well hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date every single time I drop a new video. I'm Eve and this is The Elephant. <laughs> Guys, can you believe the end of March is nearly here, which means the first quarter of 2023 is about to be over. And in that span of three months, so many new fragrances have dropped. I can't keep up. Okay, so diving right on in. We're not going to waste any time. I want to touch on a few of the fragrances that have dropped within these three months. This by no means is the full entire list, but there are quite a bit on this list that I have that I want to share with you, okay? This first release I feel like was somewhat highly coveted, and this was probably the earliest release of this year. Now, the fragrances that I mentioned outside of this one is not going to be in chronological order. I'm just going to throw them out there. But this one in particular, I feel like was probably one of the first ones released for 2023. And that's Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke. Now, I feel like lots of Tom Ford lovers were waiting and anticipating this fragrance. I did get an opportunity to sniff this one. I think I've expressed on my channel before that I think Lost Cherry is a pretty decent scent, but the longevity, the performance on it is boo-boo in my opinion, but overall the scent itself is pretty. But comparing that to Cherry Smoke, I definitely think Lost Cherry is better in my opinion. And for the price tag that's associated with Cherry Smoke, um, it's going to be a hard pass for me. Now there's also another one, Electric Cherry, I think that's the name of it, that also came out. Haven't gotten my nose on that one. Do I really care about it? No. But I think I'm good on the Tom Ford collection that I have right now. I'm not really itching to add anything else from Tom Ford. But if I were to, amongst this line, Lost Cherry would get my vote. Valaya or Valaya from Parfums to Marley. Now this one, Miss Keetra from Fab Finds by Keetra is the reason why I decided to go ahead and mosey on down to my local Saks and get my nose on it, okay? So I was aware that this had dropped, but was I pressed to go and smell it? No. Was I excited to go and sniff it? Nah, not really. But Miss Keetra, she did talk it up quite highly. And so I said, you know what? It doesn't hurt to go down and sniff it. And actually, I am glad that I did because I truly enjoy Valaya or Valaya, however you pronounce her. She's a citrusy but fruity and floral type of scent. She's nice and bright and just kind of airy and perfect for the spring and summertime. Now, do I want to pay that high dollar price that Parfums de Marly brings? No, I don't. And I cannot say that Valaya Valaya is worth the 300 plus price tag that it comes with. And I say that because I'm not really 100% certain of the performance of this scent. I did spray it on my wrist as well as on the card and it smelled beautiful on my skin as well as on the card. But if I'm being 100% honest, after I got on with my day, I can't remember how long it lasted on me. So I would definitely need to retry this again and actually test it out with purpose. But from what I got from first impressions, I do enjoy the scent. If I were to be able to catch it on a discount or on sale, I would highly consider picking this one up. Okay, we've got Dom Rosa Malissime. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now I did share with you guys, I believe it was in a vlog, that I didn't really care for the original Dom Rosa. I know, I think everybody else loves this scent, but for me, I don't know, I felt like there was something missing. It, it did come off a little fruity, but more champagne-y than it did fruity, in my opinion. But I am interested in seeing what the Malisi May version is. And I think Malisi May just means parfum or like an extrait or just an intense. There are so many other different words for a more electrified, intensified version. I'm just going to assume that's what it is. But if it's not, you can correct me in the comments. But either way, although I didn't care for the original, it was just okay to me. I am still intrigued and interested to see what this new flanker is going to give. Can't Stop Loving You from Killian. Now, to me, this is in the same vein of Love Don't Be Shy. 
It's in the same vein of Oriana. It's in the same vein of Princess, okay? But just bringing it back to Killing It and this launch specifically, I think it's a better version of Love Don't Be Shy. If, I'm, if I just had to be 100% honest, I feel like this is a, it's a fresher take on Love Don't Be Shy. Love Don't Be Shy, you guys know the beef that I have with it. I do enjoy the scent itself. It can be cloying to a lot of people. It is dense, it is thick. But for me, my problems with it was that it did not last long at all. But when I smelled Can't Stop Loving You, I feel like the love that I once had for Love Don't Be Shy was reignited when I smelled Can't Stop Loving You. Can't tell you what performance or longevity is like because I only smelled this on a piece of paper. I didn't get to spray it on my skin, but I enjoyed what I sprayed on the paper. And I smelled it in air too. And to me, it just comes off fresher and brighter than Love Don't Be Shy. So if I were to pick between Can't Stop Loving You and Love Don't Be Shy, it would be Can't Stop Loving You just based off first impression, not based off of actually wearing it, just what I sniff from the paper, the nozzle, and in the air. But if we wanna go deeper, Oriana still takes the cake, okay? I love her to death, and right now she's, she's still number one in my book. Okay, so y'all, I am looking down here at my phone and my pad because I have some notes on both. But Donna Born in Roma Intense. Now, this was a pretty scent, but I like the original version better. And taking it a step further, I feel like Born in Roma Uomo, which is the male version of the, of the new Intense version, I feel like that one smells better than the Intense of Donna Born in Roma. So Uomo opens up spicy and then it kind of dries into like this somewhat sexy, sweet, slightly vanillic nature. I think that would be perfect on a man. It's too much for me to wear, but I think it smells absolutely amazing and so much better than the Donna Born and Roma Intense, which is why I opt to stick with the original Donna Born and Roma. She is, for now, she is a lifer in my collection. I am on my second bottle. I've kind of hit a, I guess, a stopping point on my second bottle. I haven't gone through this one as fast as I went through my first one, but I still love her nonetheless. The intense version is nice, but would I run out to buy the intense version? Nah. Note Vani Nectar from M. Mikalev. Y'all, I still need to get my nose on Note Vani, the original. <laughs> but from what I gather, I feel like Note Vani Nectar would probably be a step above the original. I don't know, you would have to let me know in the comments. If you've gotten your nose on Note Vani Nectar, let me know what that's like for you. And even the original, I know this one's quite popular in the fragrance community, but I unfortunately have not gotten, I haven't even gotten any samples from this house, which is on my list to do for this year. But Note Vani Nectar is the new release from the house and I actually want to get a sample of this one as well. Good Girl Blush from Carolina Herrera. Now, I am not a huge fan of the whole good girl line, y'all. I do not own a stiletto, a perfume stiletto in my fragrance collection. And I know the original is a fan fave. It's a mass appealing scent. I just am not a fan of it for whatever reason. But I will say I got my nose on Very Good Girl and between the original and Very Good Girl, I like Very Good Girl. Now, Good Girl Blush, when I sniffed this, it definitely reminded me of something that I already had, and that's Mont Blanc Signature. Y'all, this, it's beautiful. Let me just say that, it is a beautiful scent. It opened up citrusy, and it dries down creamy, which is very similar to the creamsicle vibe that I get from Mont Blanc Signature. And so once I realized that, I said there is no need for good girl blush. So I do feel like if you enjoy Mont Blanc Signature, I feel like you would also enjoy good girl blush. But if you did not like Mont Blanc Signature because you felt like it was too creamy, I think you would also appreciate good girl blush because it's a lighter, brighter take on that same DNA but they definitely smell very similar to me and I don't necessarily think it's worth having both. And because I still enjoy my Mont Blanc signature, it, to me it didn't make sense to pick up 
good girl blush. But within the good girl line, I feel like very good girl is still the best one in my opinion. But in second place, I would give it to good girl blush. And then good girl is just last place for me because I'm just not interested. So speaking of Mont Blanc signature, did y'all know that there is a signature? Absolute. I didn't know either, but I definitely want to get my nose on this one. And I don't know that there's any information out on this one yet. I wonder if there is, let me see if there's a review on this scent. Yep, there is a video on YouTube and it's actually from the Santa Maria. Hey girl, hey, if you're watching, I need to watch this video for myself, but I will leave the video information, the link down below so you can catch it as well if you're interested in Mont Blanc Absolute. But it looks like based on the thumbnail, it looks like she's comparing the original or old version to the new Absolute. So I will definitely be checking this out because again, I love Mont Blanc signature so I am interested to see what the absolute version is giving so check her video out I'll have it linked down below Angel Elixir I don't know if I want to go out and sniff this one y'all I, I don't I'm not excited about it um the other releases they were okay none of them really moved me to say hey buy me you need a bottle of me so if I don't have any of the other ones in my collection and I haven't really been moved to really sniff those, am I gonna do that with the Elixir? I don't know that I am, but there is a new release. It's the Elixir. So yeah. Guidance from Amouage. Now homegirl is in the limelight right now. She is getting talked up quite a bit. And I think I'm excited about trying this one out. Now, I love material from Amouage, and I feel like that one was more of a mass appealing uh, release from the house. Y'all already know how Amouage is quite challenging. I feel like material comes on the more mass appealing side, but this one from what I hear is even more mass appealing. So I'm quite excited to get my nose on this one. If you have tried Guidance, please let me know in the comments down below. What does it give to you? Because I, I'm thinking it's going to give me everything that I think it is, but we'll just have to wait and see once I actually test it out on my skin. Gucci Bloom Intense, y'all. I am Gucci Bloomed out. Okay, let's keep it PG. I am Gucci Bloomed out. I can't do it anymore. I, I'm done, okay? I sniffed it too much tuberose. And I love tuberose, but it's too much for me. Too, too much, too much. Perfect from Marc Jacobs. Now this is the Eau de Toilette version. So there is the EDP, there's the Perfect Intense, which I do own, and so now they've come out with the EDT. And this, I have sniffed it. This is a simple, you know, pleasant, everyday, get up and go, easy, dumb reach type of scent. It's nice, nothing to write home to mom about, nothing spectacular, but it's a nice, fresh, airy scent, perfect for the spring and summertime. Molecule 01 plus ginger. Y'all, I love the note of ginger in my fragrances. So this one, so an Ambroxan with ginger? Ooh, that sounds so delectable to me. I definitely have this at the top of my list to sample and try. If you've tried this one, please let me know what it does for you because I really think that I am going to love this one at first new. Without a doubt, you guys know how much I love Embroxin. So Embroxin and Ginger and that's it. Oh, I think I'm really gonna love this one. But if you've sniffed it, let me know what you think down below. My Way Parfum. Now, I feel like quite frankly, the entire My Way line is too bubble gummy of a tuberose. So I'm really hoping that the Parfum version is scaled back because the tuberose is definitely tuberosing and I just, I can't deal. Too much tuberose for me just sends me in a head spin and I get this massive headache and I just, I don't enjoy that at all. So am I pressed to go and smell the Parfum version? No. I am not, but if I do come across it, I will go ahead and sniff it. But fingers crossed that it's not too much tuberose because the other ones, I can't deal. The tuberose is just too much. Killian Blue Moon Ginger. 
it's 100% the bottle for me. The bottle is what drew me in and I am definitely interested in getting my nose on this scent, but the bottle itself is just uh, an eye catcher. It has like this gradient. It goes from like clear to like this pretty aquatic deep blue at the bottom. So pretty. But I did take a peek at the notes and I think there's like Ambrox in it. So that's a version of Ambroxin. Y'all know how I love Ambroxin. I think there's like lemon in it, ginger in it. So it's gonna be somewhat of a light, spicy, uh, fresh scent, I believe. So I'm quite interested to see. I'm thinking it might lean a little masculine. I don't know, but again, I am interested to get my nose on this one. I hope it doesn't let me down like Brandy on the Rocks did because that one, we have a love-hate relationship. Right now, I'm still in the love. You know, it went from I don't really know to I like it. I like it a lot more and I finally loved it. So it's staying there. Matter of fact, I need to pull that one out because I haven't worn it in a minute. I need to see if I'm still in love with it. But the last time we checked in with one another, we were in love. Yeah, we were in love. But this one definitely, I hope it doesn't let me down on first impression like that one did, but we'll see. But either way, I'm excited. The bottle is beautiful, so we'll see what it gives. On a date from Mason Margiela. Y'all, I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't like it. So to me, it smells like a, like a wilted rose that's on its way to like rotting a little bit that's been dipped in grape soda it's it's a no for me i just yeah it's a no i couldn't even like appreciate it from the nozzle or on a piece of paper and i sprayed it on my skin in the air i it, it's a no no nozzle air paper skin for me it's a no but if if you like that I would encourage you to go to Sephora and, and try that one out. But coconut Sun from Seven Virtues. Now, to me, this was a really pleasant coconut scent. It was bright. It was almost an uplifting type of coconut. It didn't come off suntan lotion-y at all to me. Um, it has a hint of sweetness. Like this is not overbearingly sweet in my opinion, but overall the vibe that I got was it was bright. It was nice, pleasant, and bright. Not suntan lotion-y at all. So I think this one is a more mass appealing type of coconut vibe. Definitely enjoyed this scent, but to me this one smelled very pleasant on paper, but I think on skin it would need help from another fragrance. I, to me, I feel like this would be a fragrance that you would have to layer with something else to really give it some punchiness, some get up and go type feel on you. Um, but overall, I do think this is a pleasant scent. And while I'm speaking on the subject, so you can find this at Sephora and the spring savings event is coming up. This is not sponsored by any means, but I do want to let you guys know that if you're considering any fragrances that I've mentioned that's offered at Sephora, wait, do not buy it right now. The spring savings event is coming up in April and that's a great opportunity to get some money off um, on your purchases. I'm all about saving a coin for you all. If you can find it at a deal, do that, okay? Why pay retail, full retail, when you can get a discount someplace, somewhere, somehow? Inflation is ridiculous, okay? I want you guys to get an optimal price for these great fragrances that we talk about. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you're interested in any of these scents that I've mentioned and it's available at Sephora, wait till the next savings event, which is right around the corner, so. Coconut Sun is a very pretty mass appealing coconut scent in my opinion and I think I might pick this one up for the sales event. Dolce Violet from Dolce & Gabbana. Y'all, when I saw, first of all, the bottle is so pretty to me. The color, the hue of purple that it's in, it's so pretty to me. And I feel like the color of the bottle definitely translates into the scent. So for me, this was a slightly creamy but more powdery vanillic floral scent very pretty on paper when i initially blasted it on my skin very pretty in the opening but as this sat on my skin the powdery nature of this scent got really intense for me and it almost made me nauseous but the reason why i want to circle back and give this one another chance is because i was starving when i sniffed this okay 
My stomach was eating my back. You know when you wait too long to eat, your stomach feels like it's just shrinking and it's grasping for your back because it needs nutrients. So I'm literally feeling like I'm gonna die of hunger, but I sprayed this and like I said, I enjoyed what the opening was giving me. It gave me, again, this powdery, wasn't overly sweet either, but this powdery, creamy touch, but as it dried down on my hand, that powderiness intensified for me and it just made me nauseous. And I feel like if I would have experienced that with a full stomach or just, you know, a level set stomach, if I wasn't hungry at all and I sprayed it, I feel like the experience would have been different because I've done that before. I've sniffed something and I was hungry and it just threw me off and I, I didn't enjoy it. But when I went back and revisited that scent, I was fine. So I really feel like I didn't give this one a proper chance because of the circumstance I was in. But I am very interested in going back and trying Dolce Violet because the bottle itself is a beautiful color. And I really think this one is a nice, I think this is supposed to be a fruity floral, but I got a lot of powdery essence in it. So it's a fruity powdery floral, but I got mainly powderiness. Overall, I think it's a nice one to try out for this spring season. Sparkling Sugar from Clean Reserve. Now this to me is another very pretty, I think it's a mass appealing scent and I think it's an easy reach type of scent. I also tested this on skin and it was lovely in the opening, but as this one dried down, it really put me in the mindset of Radiant Nectar from also Clean Reserve, which I own. And so I feel like if you have Radiant Nectar in your collection, do you necessarily need sparkling sugar? No, but if you feel like Radiant Nectar is doing just a little bit too much and you want to scale back a little bit, sparkling sugar would be a better option because to me, this one is a lighter, airier, brighter take on radiant nectar and it's a little bit sweeter but not sweet in the dense aspect sweet but airy if that makes sense it's sparkling just like the name states it's a sparkling sugar so it's got that sweetness but it's not thick and dense like how radiant nectar kind of comes off a little bit thicker and denser i feel like they both are beautiful but if you think one's a little bit too heavy for you try sparkling sugar it's a beautiful easy reach nothing super special about it but it's definitely i feel like a mass appealing scent and it's perfect for the spring and summertime last but not least we have yum from kaoli now this is getting all the buzz this is currently in the limelight now i don't believe this has officially launched yet when this video drops i don't know i don't know when the timing of the launch date is but pr packages have been sent to reviewers to get their take on it now i've only watched one review i'm not going to watch any other reviews i watched one review from the scented lifestyle the beautiful miss marima i watched her video and she had some really great things to say about it but i personally have not decided if i'm going to buy this and review it for you guys or just you know let this one fly because there like i said there are so many reviews out there right now on it i don't know that me adding to the mix makes or breaks a difference but i do eventually want to get my nose on this one so this is a hot new release from the house of kaoli they have been on it okay they have been on it and so one of the things that i did pick up from marima's review was that the lasting power was not the greatest and for me i was really hoping that it would ride the coattails of the last release which was the patchouli vanilla i cannot remember the name but you guys know which one i'm talking about in a beautiful foiled gold bottle i was hoping this release would ride those coattails but nevertheless we know what kaoli gives they give lots of different beautiful fragrances and they all kind of serve a different purpose but they're all meant to be layered so either way I am interested. I just don't know when I'm going to pick this one up and if I'm going to do a personal review for you all. But either way, this is a launch of 2023 that has been getting lots of buzz. And so I think it's worth you checking it out. All right, you guys, so that is my video for today. I hope you liked this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and like this video down below, okay? Now, also in the comments, let me know what new release are you anxious for this year? For me, I honestly don't know. There are so many drops happening. I'm, I barely can keep up, okay? But I will try my best to gather and group them all for you. And hopefully I think I'll do another one of these at the end of the second quarter and see what we have then. 
But until then and until the next time, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye.